Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Right. Today I'm going to be unboxing my first Owl Crate box. This, I mean, I'm glad to say it's not sponsored. I wish it was. I paid $30 of my own money for this plus another 30 for international shipping. So I wish this was sponsored. I've never ordered an Owl Crate box before. I've ordered different book subscription boxes in the past, but more UK based ones, so I did not have to pay the um, $30 shipping. But I got this book because basically it was Greek mythology themed. You can't see, but this entire shelf is my Percy Jackson collection. Song of Achilles is up here. I very much love Greek mythology. And I'd like more of those books in my life. So I'm gonna read it off of here. This is the From Olympus with Love theme. Um, I believe this is Owl Crate's first like Greek mythology themed box. The book is a highly anticipated urban fantasy story set in New York where Greek gods are forced to live as mortals where they are hunted for their power and a chance at immortality. There is an exclusive edition of this book with an exclusive cover and it's signed by the author. Very exciting. Items included will be inspired by some of our favourite Greek gods and goddesses. Never done a book inspired by Greek myths before. That's it. The sneak peeks that they've done the first poster said there's going to be a wooden bookmark of some kind in here. Yep. <laughs> and there's going to be some kind of art made by Eden Cook, which features two of their favourite Greek goddesses and perfect for anyone who loves the moon. So I believe this is going to be Artemis. <laughs> so we're going to open this box and I'm going to have a look. Also, I ordered this maybe end of December, start of January, because it was a January box and I didn't realise that Owl Crate boxes shipped um, the month after. This arrived February 10th-ish. So, so yeah, the February theme has been announced and sold out and all that stuff. So I did not know that was a thing. Okay, so the first thing I see opening this up is a lot of things falling out. So, what's up? Oh, this is a little cute owl crate card that says what's in the box so we'll have a quick read so there is a felt letterboard kit with a zippered pouch which is oh Hermes Eden Cook included two of our favourite Olympians deciding a calendar tapestry and pin banner leaf tea wooden bookmark I, I, I've just seen Song of Achilles written down we're, we're going to ignore the rest of the spoilers so we have this is very cute. I love this little packaging. I'm not a person a tea drinker because I am an atrocious British person, but this is very cute. Can I smell it through here? I cannot smell it through the plastic. A natural vanilla flavour, a natural caramel flavour. Very nice. I would probably actually like that. Maybe I should stop being prejudiced towards tea. Next up we have, we have this, this little pin. Oh, I know, I, I did know you get pins in every boxes. So yeah, I've, I've looked at parcel quick boxes some of them I've really loved, some of them I've been meh about, but that's just because um, my personal opinions and what things I like. Not just the themes, but the actual items themselves. So, what is this? Is this a Medusa? I think this is a Medusa. You can see her a little there. I do love Medusa so much. I'm just looking at it, it's very shiny. That is very pretty, I do love that. I can go down here. We have a packet, is this? I believe this is the Moon Tapestry. Let's open him up. I'm just gonna say, I expected the box itself to be bigger, but I picked it up and it was very heavy. So this is stuffed of things. This is a very weird material. What is this? Yeah, okay. This is also very cute. I thought for tapestry it would be bigger, but it is very cute. So yeah, I thought tapestries, because I'm very used to seeing, you know, first year uni student, those giant, like, Indian elephant inspired tapestries. And they're huge. So this is very cute. I personally don't know what I would do with it, besides hang it up on my bookshelf as this. But it is very cute. Is this Athena? Yeah, she's got an owl. And we got Artemis over there. Okay, these bird head things. Can you see that? You can. Gives me the comfortable feeling, but I this art style is very pretty. I love this a lot. <laughs> I love the art style. Next up, what is this? Is this a little thing I can hang my pins on? Okay, so yeah, this is a little thing to hang my pins on. 
um, this is, I don't have many pins, but this is also a very cute idea. I'd have to iron it a bit, it's a bit creased. <laughs> Oh, oh god, it's, it's my favourite song of Achilles quote, the one that makes me fucking cry. <laughs> can, you, can you see this? Okay, when it said wooden bookmark, I thought it'd be like a thicker, more substantial wood, not just like, basically paper, but... <laughs> oh, this is... I don't know what to say, I've been hit by song of Achilles. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this isn't what I was expecting from a wooden bookmark, but I can't critique. It's also it's also a bit shiny. Can you see the actual gold bits down here? But yeah, that's very cute. But <laughs> I'm trying to become a bookmark person again. I used to be someone who folded the pages when I was younger, but I just became someone who just put like receipts and random bits of paper in the books. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna try and use bookmarks now, even if I. I'm gonna cry every time I look at it. Next up, I believe we have the book coming up. No, we have. Oh, this is the letterboard. I'm not gonna open this. Am I gonna? I am gonna open this up because I've seen letterboards before, but I want to see this like custom pouch. Okay, this is very cute. It's got a zip and it's got a little back pocket, which I love. And I, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use that for. I'm just, I'm gonna put it to the side for now. I want to appreciate whoever does the art for these designs. So I know this is a very classic, the classic style associated with Greek mythology, but I love it so much. I did not expect I would have to pull these out myself. <laughs> I've, I've never purchased a letterboard before, so I don't really know what to do with these things. I like that there's emojis included. Can you see? I'm, I'm overwhelmed with pieces. So I'm gonna say personally, I probably won't end up using this unless it's like a cute aesthetic Instagram post kind of thing. And this seems like the kind of letterboard I could maybe get for five pounds just in the shop, but it's just got the owl crate thing on. So I think adding this pouch is a very nice touch because otherwise I would not care for this item at all. <laughs> is this, oh, we've got something, and we have the book, which I'm gonna hide. And we have, oh, we've got some other bits. We've got the card for the February theme box, which I believe is already sold out because this arrived after it got announced. <laughs> and mm -hmm, looks cute. It's got little sneak peek spoilers of what's in that box, even though I know because it's out. <laughs> okay, it's just telling us what's in the book. Okay, so the book's here. The exclusive edition is that they've made it black, which I think is a very good choice for this design. I have an Owlquake book which was given to me by a friend. Where is it? Is it down here? Yeah. The design choice for this book was to also make it black instead of white. So, this book is his Law by Alexandra Bracken, I believe. Yes, it is. I've never heard of this book until this box, like all the spoilers for it came out. People started seeing what was in it. Because. Um, this book is way up my alley. This is probably the perfect book for me. I don't know how I've managed to miss it for so long until now. And I haven't read an Alexandra Bracken book before, 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 but I've had Passenger on my shelf for many years now and just not read it. I realise this is going to be the lamest unboxing forever. It's mostly for me because I like. I'm very pleased that I spent all my hard-earned money on my things for myself. And I'm not a good reviewer, I'm just learning. I'm just showing you what's in this box. I'm making annoying sounds as I open while talking. Oh, it's, here's the original cover. And this is just a little note from the author. That just, what does it say? It's just like a little description about the book and some background to it. Okay, this cover is one of those velvety feel ones. Beautiful. It's not shiny, I, I was hoping it would be shiny. It's, I thought this was also going to be a sticker. Okay, let's have a look, let's have a look at the back. Let's have a look at the side. Let's have a look at the front. This feels bigger than the usual hardback, so I'm going to feel like it's going to be uncomfortable for me to read. <laughs> okay, we've, we've got a map, we're going good. We've got a map, that's, that's, that's plain, that's boring. <laughs> but we've got a map. 
a map. Is this a map of New York? Yeah, I see Hell's Kitchen on there. And we've got the same map, I think, in the back. Here we are. I like the incorporated, like the Medusa, how she's incorpor incorporated in the O. But yeah, that's, that's, that's a good signature. That's a cute little star. So yeah, oh, okay. The cover itself, I forgot to look at the actual like, naked cover. Okay, it has got something on the side. I know a lot of hardbacks don't, but the front is blank. So underwhelming, but expected. So I think for a special edition book, it is pretty good. It's signed. I don't know how different it is to the original, if the hardback also has the maps in and the cover and stuff. But I would say I, I quite like this. I do love subtle changes to the covers because if like something like this becomes a series, you want them to still be matching. But this special edition will still fit in with the series. I'm very excited about this book to read it actually. <laughs> I mean, I was before because I looked at it on Goodreads and it was up my alley, but I'm excited now. So um, as my first Algrate box, I'll give it a pretty high reviews. It's very exciting for me just to open things, but, I, mm -hmm. but overall as a box itself, compared to some of the Algrate ones that I've looked at on their website and seen and seen my friends open, I would probably... Mm, I give it like a three out of five stars, just because some of these items very much aren't for me. Like this, very pretty, but I personally have no use for it. The letterboard, even though this pouch is very cute, I have no use for it. This thing, I will have use for when I have more pins. I'd have to give it an iron and make sure like these handle bits actually stay on. And what else? This is this is very cute. I, I'm I'm just not a tea drinker, you see. So basically, I I love this pin though. So I would say out of this box of things that were for me were obviously an exclusive edition signed book, a pin, and um, maybe a tapestry. But I would say the money for this box would have been worth it because I did buy. Oops. Oh, I forgot about my sock of Achilles. But I would say paying $30 plus about $30 shipping for this box would have been worth it because I did buy a different um, special edition Owl Crate bo not box book off their website which was $20 plus $30 shipping so for $10 less I just got a book so yeah I would say get, get the boxes why not <laughs> This is going to be a long video of me just rambling, a brief cry over Song of Achilles and then bitching about what I spent my money on. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy unboxing things. I I want to buy more book subscription boxes in the future, just not for $30 shipping. But I didn't have to pay customs fees and I didn't have whatever weird Brexit charges there are going on right now, so that's a bonus. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't, don't care if you did not and I will see you next time. Bye!